check this out how cool is it for me this is like super cool it's my job to prepare tackle now like that used to be something i used to have to take a day off to do but it's actually like my duty to get tackle in my boat so that's pretty cool rails out here in the shop what are you playing huh playing a game what game if anything can go wrong talking tom he's playing talking tom so uh i think i think tackle preps is actually gonna be pretty easy for this i've already started pulling some stuff down and um i don't think i need a whole bunch i think the lake's real flooded from what i've been looking at let's get in this boat and start ripping it apart and getting everything we need to fish this tournament I do when i'm out here in the shop is I always listen to something i think you guys saw me last time i was listening to music but a lot of times a lot of my time is spent listening on youtube ironically this morning i'm listening to jim ron while your attitude is everything i would highly suggest that you guys uh especially if, if there's any high school anglers or any just people just kind of aspiring to do something on their own you got to, uh, they got a text message there. Self-development, it's a big deal. Inventory and what we got, you can see that's all I have done so far is a couple boxes. And I got pretty much everything I need in there, but there's just one, my favorite crawl color. I'll show you my favorite crawl color. I'll show you my favorite crawl color. I already got them out. Cause this is the one that I throw. 90% of the time when I, tie, when I tie on a trap, this is the color I throw. This is called Candy Crawl. I love it. You see it's got a matte finish to it too. I think that's new. I don't remember them having that matte finish last year. But Candy Crawl is a really bright, 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 almost fluorescent red crawl pattern. But then it's got that little hue of pink in it, hence the candy. And I love that dude. That's this is 90% of the time. And I'm throwing a knocking trap. Throwing a knocking trap in this one. These ones. Oh my god. How meta bugs. Black blue palmetto bugs. Oh, I ordered some green pumpkin this time. What about that? So the next thing is, doo -doo -doo, can you read that? Chatterbait trailers. I love this one, which is diesel minnows. You get a couple bags of diesel minnows. I think two bags of diesel minnows is plenty. Something dark, something white. Diesel minnows and pearl blue glimmer. And I'll also get a couple of the razor shads here. Razor shads. It's called a deal. We'll get that one. Gotta have black and blue, green pumpkin, and Houdini. Boy, this turns into a mess really fast. Yeah. Jeez. Money making baits ever. The swim baits start to. I haven't even fished these yet. This is the Mr. Luke Clausen six signature series from Z Man Spinner Bait. I haven't actually fished these yet. Let's see what this is called. This is called Bluegill. Pretty color spinner bait there. My buddy Jeff Gomez has made a lot of my spinner baits over the years. Uh, yeah, these are all painted blade spinner baits in this box. And there should be another one that looks like that. Grab it too. I like that one. Good job, Mr. Clausen. All right, let's see. This box is going to be only willow leaf spinner baits. That's all I'm putting in this one. Look at that. I wanna, I'll eat you how good you look. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a neat little trick that I learned 
you got a power pole, you know you got to mount the little, uh, you got to mount the little switch, obviously, to let your poles up and down. And you can screw it into your console or whatever. I kind of hate to screw it in because when the next owner gets the bolt, maybe they don't want it screwed in, in the, where I had it screwed in, where I find it more comfortable. Or maybe throughout the year I use it and then I decide, well, I don't want it in that place anymore. This is what I do, it's worked great. I've been doing it for like the last five or six bolts. So I just take 3M double-sided tape. And what I do is just uh, take the back, you can clean this off. I'm not gonna clean it off right now. It's not that big of a deal. But you just take some 3M double-sided tape. You put it on, on the back of your, uh, your power pole switch. Just cut it off like that. I'm gonna have ac excess. You'll see what I'm gonna do here in a minute. And then I'll put some more on. You see? Uh oh, phone call, phone call. Phone call, phone call. Oh, look who this is. This is gonna be a great conversation. Straighter, what are you doing, son? Oh. And all that. Well, I'm out in the building doing the same thing, so. Well, I've done that already in his sleep, so. You're piping that issue. I didn't even go through the pipe. Oh, you went through the gunnels? I went through the door. I just stuck it in there where that stupid. <laughs> I was like, Nancy, doing that. I'm Unbelievable. You know where that little vent is? You know, like. Yes. Right in front of your keypad? Yeah, 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 yeah. I took that vent off, run the snake, just stuck it in there, started fishing it back toward the engine. Unbelievable. And I, I said it's about 10 foot, I said, well, that ought to be another. Oh, back to business here. Double sided tape, one side of the back of your controller, just like that, right? And then you take, you see, it obviously doesn't cover the whole deal. I'll show you how we're going to do that. Just wait a second. Don't get too anxious on me, okay? Then you take your other side, double-sided tape, and just line it up. Again, if you wanted to do it right, you probably would. You just cut off the excess like that. Uh-oh, mash my pole. So then it looks like that when you're finished, okay? Now, what you're gonna do, after you got it on there, press it on really good. You can take a heat gun. That really, act, especially when it's cold like this, take a heat gun. That activates that adhesive really good. This is just 3M double-sided tape. This stuff's really cheap. And you take your scissors and you just go around the edges. Go around the edges of your power pole clamp like that. So So now, you can see, cut off all the excess. That's what it looks like on the back. And then all you do is just peel off. It's important to wait until you finish uh, trimming it before you peel off the back of it. There you go. Then you just simply stick it wherever you want to put it. So this is my mid-range diving uh, mid-range crankbaits here. You see I got quite a few in here. Everything from wiggle warts. One of my favorite that I have come to like here recently is one called the Rock Crawler from, from Spro. Got a few handmade crankbaits in here that I haven't really used much. I used to use handmade crankbaits a lot more than I do now. This one's even got a rattle. This guy, North Carolina call. Uh, his name is Frank Tinsley. I fished the BFL with him years ago. I saw him at the Classic. I was like, Frank, why don't you make me some of those crankbaits? And he sent me, uh, sent me a whole bunch of them. But one I'm super excited about, and that you're gonna see on Straight Up Fishing here very soon, is the new MR6 from Bill Lewis. Uh, myself, Mark Daniels, uh, had a lot of influence on this, this particular crankbait and we kind of molded it from a couple different crankbaits that we've, we've used in the past that we liked. 
but also kind of put our own flair on it and some things that we wanted to change and make it perform a little bit better. But this is the new MR6 from Bill Lewis. MR6 standing for six foot, six foot diver and crankbait. Dude, this thing is, it's, it's legit. You're gonna see it. You're gonna see it on the next episode of Straight Up Fishing. It is everything that I wanted it to be. So uh, we got, I can't remember, I think it's like eight or 10 different colors. You see, I got a bunch of reds here. This is a color mark design here. I think we call this one Strawberry Crawl. Um, but there's this awesome crankbait. This is one of the colors that I going to have right here. I forgot what we ended up calling it. It's like ghost, uh, ghost crawdad or something like that. But these are all prototypes, not even the actual production run. You're going to love that crankbait. And my buddy painted this. This is uh, KVD15. My buddy at Rainbow Baits, he painted that guy right there. It's pretty slick looking in there. KVD 1.5, you will never see another crawl pattern like that one anywhere. How did this locker get this full that quick? I remember when I first started, I was like, oh yeah, this one will take, I don't need a whole bunch of stuff. And this time we're only gonna use this, I'm gonna use that. Three boxes of jerk baits, two boxes of square bills, two boxes of terminal tackle, a box of handmade crank baits. Actually, there's four, there's, look, of, of, of lipless baits alone, there is one, two, three, four boxes of lipless baits, two boxes of jerk baits, three boxes of square bills, and two of medium diving crankbaits. The old school rubber, rubber skirt and forever. Remember the old Lunker Lure buzz baits used to come with a skirt like this, but I got a couple of those. They just have a totally different action in the water. I got white, white chartreuse, and white chartreuse blue, but I definitely remember these guys from when I was a kid. Don't leave that dude in your tackle box all rigged up. That's why I still got them in the... But I found these old rubber, I think I ordered these guys over the internet right here. These rubber spinner baits, rubber... Oh yeah, that just screams old school right there. If you're under the age of 35, you probably have never seen anything like that before. Colors have no numbers, so color the rank ones in no colors. What are you talking about, man? He's not big. How do you know? Well, I mean, just a, yeah, I mean super rare. You know, super weird. Yep. And me. And you. And you're beautiful too. Woo! It is silver. Silver. Yes, it's silver, baby. What silver? Do you like silver? Of course I do. But do you like gold? Silver. Not gold. It's got a little glitter on the silver. Yep. I think I have to solve and then once I solve it, there's one part that there's blank numbers and if you find a blank marker then you use it on there. Okay. And the blank markers are gray and black. Okay. And I'm only six. You're almost six. I said all oh, I'm six already. Already six. You're yeah, six. Why'd you say almost okay. six? I'm almost seven. Almost. Yeah. In six months or years, it's gonna be my birthday. All right. Hey, so check out this box. This this box right here is probably 15 years old. And you're gonna see why this why this guy pretty jacked up about this deal. A bait you don't see used that much anymore, especially for flipping and pitching, is an old school tube. And I got a feeling like that could be something. This could be a sleeper, you know. But check out, like, dude, they they got the box messed up that they're so old. Old red tube, dude. Like the plastic, you can almost. 
That plastic's not even any good anymore. These boxes are so old. But like this guy right here, the old man, I don't know if I'm even gonna be able to use them there. They feel funny. But the old school tube, dude. Check out this old crawl tube right there. If I wanted to make it just a crawl, I could pinch those tentacles off and just use the just use that part if I wanted to. The tube, man. Love it. Enough rigging for me for today. I'm done. I'm gonna take a few rods and out in the inside of the house and work on that a little bit tonight before the little one gets in the bed. But I literally been out in this shop since nine o'clock this morning. So I think I can deserve to take a little time off and go in the house now. Finish up the rest of this rigging tomorrow. Thanks guys for watching. See you. But I may not have another video ready until after Sam Rayburn. So the next video you probably will see will be me hoisting the big trophy at Sam Rayburn.